Hey, in this video, let's take a look how we can import motion capture files into Maya and then blend them. So this is one of the questions that I was asked is to uh, demonstrate how do you uh, merge different animations together. So for this, uh, let's do this. Let's grab uh, a couple uh, meshes and motion capture files to play with uh, from Mixamo. All right, so here I am in Mixamo. Let me just grab this uh, basic uh, character here and let's just assign uh, a few different motions uh, to him. So let's do like an idle, uh, maybe he's gonna do, you know, idle to walk to run and then see if, um, how can we blend all of that together, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'll just grab this as a T pose and uh, let me just download this, right? So I'm gonna say, uh, let's say T pose, that's fine. I'm gonna do FBX and just do download. All right, so now since we have the uh, rigged mesh, uh, let's go to animations and in here, let's just grab a couple, right? I'm gonna do idle. Uh, maybe he is just standing and waiting. Uh, doesn't really matter which one. Uh, let's do breathing idle, that's fine, right? So here he is, he's just standing, right? So I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna say download. And uh, for this, I don't really need the skin because we already have the skin in, uh, in the T pose, right? So I'm gonna say without skin, uh, 30 frames per second, that's fine, I'll do download. All right, the other one is let's do walking, so I'm gonna do that. So let's just go ahead and click on this one. I do wanna uh, make sure he walks in place. We can adjust his arms if we needed to. Uh, it's up to you. Let's say I'm happy with this. I'm gonna do download. And again, I'm gonna do without skin, 30 frames. That's fine, do download. All right, and let's just grab one more, right? So I'm gonna do, uh, let's do a, a run. So I'll do that in place as well. And I think this seems to be uh, pretty perfect. Let's grab this, right? So I'm gonna say download and same thing without skin, 30 frames per second, let's download that. All right, awesome. Once we got the T posed with the three animations, let's jump into Maya. All right, and in here, I'm gonna go ahead and import my T pose. Okay, cool. So this is what my uh, character looks like. And if we wanted to, let's uh, change the colors of this. We can, just for fun, right? We can right click, go to material attributes, and maybe, you know, maybe we'll, uh, I can just do something. Let's just do like gray or white. And for, uh, if I right click on this one, maybe I can make it kind of black. And I can also change it to uh, Lambert if I didn't want to have some of that, um, some of that spe specularity there, all right? So I personally just like this a little bit better to look at. Uh, next, let's do this. Let's turn on our X-ray and we can see that the character comes in in T-Pose. If you ever wanted to adjust the thickness of the joints in Maya, keep that in mind, you can always do that by going to uh, display animation and you have something called join size, right? And here it's set to um, by default to one, but you can always adjust this to whatever you want. Maybe to see this a little bit better for our video, I can pump this up a little bit, right? Uh, all right, so we have this. Now uh, let's go ahead and start bringing in our other animations of uh, idling, uh, walking, and running, right? There's a few different ways we can do it. We can do go to file, import, and just import the FBX files right into this. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is using something called time editor. So if I go to uh, time editor, right, um, what I can do is check this out. I can select this entire skeleton, right? I'm gonna right click and do Let's do select hierarchy, make sure we select all the joints and I can just do plus. Now, when I say uh, plus, it's going to add this orange line that you can see right here and it's almost like a clip, right? Okay, so we have this clip and that's just from uh, frame zero to frame one and that's just a T pose. Now, uh, if I wanted to import other animations in here, I can just take my file browser and I can grab uh, any one of these. So let's say he's gonna go from T pose to uh, idle, right? So I can just grab this and drag it right in here and drop it in. And now as soon as I do, a new clip was dropped and this clip is gonna be called uh, breathing, right? So if I um, press Alt and middle mouse uh, drag, I can drag this around. Then using my mouse wheel, I can kind of zoom out. And if I zoom out a lot, I can see that this is quite a long idle animation. This is almost 300 frames, right? But now uh, check this out, if I press play, he should go from T-Pose onto the 
um, idling animation, right? So if I press play, let's see if that's the case. And that is the case, right? So he's gonna go from T-pose to idle and he kind of snaps, right? Um, because there's no transition of any kind. It just goes from frame one to frame two being the idle. So we have to decide, you know, do we even want to uh, keep this, right? Let's say I want to delete this. Maybe I don't want him to be in T-pose uh, at all. I can always go to delete and just kill that, right? And then I can take this and just move it over just like I would in any video editing program. All right, so now I have this really long um, idling animation, okay? Now, after he idles, I want him to start walking. Let me grab uh, that. So same thing, I'm just gonna grab the uh, walking animation and just literally drag it right onto this timeline and drop it. And let me expand my timeline to kind of include to kind of include all of these, right? And this is gonna be my walking animation. And uh, now what I could do is, uh, check this out, this is gonna be the idle right here, and then he's gonna go into a walk, right? So he's standing and then he's walking. Now, what if I wanted to blend these two together, right? I can take this clip and just kind of overlap it, just like I do in video, video editing program. And now he's gonna transition nicely from idling to walking, which is really cool. What if I want him to walk a little bit uh, before he starts running? Um, what, what I could do is I can always right click, let's do copy, let's go um, to the end of this and let's do control V to paste it, right? And maybe we'll do a couple of them. So now he's gonna do kind of a triple um, sequence of walking and then from here, let's go ahead and get him running. Same thing, I'm just gonna grab that. Here's my run, I'm gonna drag it right in. And same as before, let me make sure uh, that all of this is included, I'm gonna grab my uh, timeline that gets kind of reset every time and now he's gonna run so I'm, same thing I'm just gonna blend the uh, run with the walk right so now he's gonna be walking and then all of a sudden he's gonna take off and just like before of course I can copy it and paste it here maybe he's gonna run for you know a little bit and there it is so that's how easy it is so now we're gonna have him breathing um, walking and then going into a run, right? Let's go to frame zero and press play and watch our animation. All right, so once you're done with the time editor and you're done adjusting the times and you know, you can always cut this too. Let's say I want, I, I think this breathing animation is just way too long, right? Uh, is there any way for me to trim this uh, quickly? Um, you can use all of these tools right here. So one of them being uh, this right here is the trim mode. I can of course scale mode. I can adjust the timing of it. I can speed this up or slow it down, right? Uh, you can of course trim just like you would do in like video Adobe Premiere or something like that, any uh, video editing program. But let's say I just wanna trim this. So I'm just gonna take this and make it much, much shorter. I don't really need him breathing that much. I can select all of these clips here and just literally just move them all the way to the beginning. You can see this is frame zero and he's gonna be um, animating all the way to, uh, what frame is this, 162. All right, nice, now uh, what happens next? If I'm done with this, I'm done with the editing and, and uh, trimming and all of that, I can always select all of this, right click on it, go to bake, and then let's do uh, bake to scene and delete. So I'm gonna do that. And you can see that I just exited the time editor mode, right? And if I close this, I no longer need this. And if I just simply select the uh, skeleton, you will see that the skeleton has all the animation baked into it from the time editor straight onto the timeline. All right, so let's, uh, let's switch this to uh, 162. That's gonna be the length of our animation. Go back to zero. Okay, and now if I press play, I should see him uh, blending between the three animations. At this point, if I wanted to create custom animation and maybe I want him to do something, you know, super specific, uh, this is when I would uh, start using layers, right? Do you do animation layers? So uh, maybe I want him to look around as he's standing here. Instead of going in and adjusting each keyframe um, individually, right? There's so many keyframes. Uh, what I could do is I can simply select the head joint and normally you probably don't want to uh, animate the actual joints. So you could transfer this animation from the skeleton 
onto a uh, control rig you could do that or if this is something really you know simple and basic and you just want to throw a character into a game technically there's no reason why you can't just uh, you know animate the joint let's say I want to take this head here I'm gonna create a new animation layer and you can see a base animation is gonna be the one with all these keyframes now if I go here this is gonna be my head one if I double click on this I can actually call this head and the head one right now is there's nothing here right so let's go to frame 0 press s and right here he starts to walk so on 36 I'm gonna press s and then maybe right here he's gonna look right before he starts walking right so let's go to frame 18 grab our rotation and just literally just turn his head so he's gonna see if there's anything over there and now he's gonna have this and then he's gonna start walking so you can see how easy it is right we can just totally control each individual uh, part by just creating layers and now if I go back I can press play and there's my animation once you're done and you want to export this into Unreal or Unity, um, when you export this out, this should technically uh, blend together and bake the animation into the actual joints. But if you wanted to, you can also merge these. So if I right click on this head layer, uh, right click on it, I could go to uh, merge layers and just click on that. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's how uh, easy, fun, and simple it is to create long animations using Time Editor in uh, Maya. All right, thanks for uh, watching this video, and I'll see you guys in our next one.